Hey lovelies, and welcome back to Reviews and Recaps. Let's get into today's video. Maurice is basically saying that Melody and Martel need to apologize to each other. He had an interview with Dustin Ross. Now, first of all, shout out to Show style and spirit because that is where i got this tea from now maurice had an interview with dustin ross recently and they go into talking about a lot of different things so one of the things they talked about are the fletchers they also talk about melody and martel not filming together and his opinion about that they also talk about the destiny and sunny situation so i'm going to go into all of that but before that, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and tap that bell button right next to it so you know every single time that I post. And everyone, please like, share and don't forget to let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. So Maurice had an interview with Dustin Ross. First of all, my question is, why is he even having an interview? Because I have barely seen him this season. So what's what's the point of an interview? But anyway, let's let's get into it. So he has an interview, they ask him about the Fletchers and how they are handling the adult children or their adult children. What was interesting for me was finding out that Maurice actually has three adult children. I did not know that. If you guys know that, let me know in the comment section below because this is my first time hearing about this. He did say that they don't talk about them on the show but that he talks about how it's difficult as an adult, like finding your way, um, it's challenging. Now, I completely agree with that. Sometimes it can be challenging. And even if it's not generally challenging, there are certain things that you may find challenging. But I think for me, it's like three adult children, not one mention of them on the Love and Marriage Huntsville, as far as I know, Um, which then begs the question, why aren't they sort of, maybe on the show here and there or why didn't you at least mention them like it just seems like we don't even know who this person is like we don't have to know you intimately or anything but like we've watched you for so many seasons and we don't even know you have three adult children that is so odd i wonder what else we don't know about the cast members in relation to their their siblings or their children that would be very interesting to find out. Now, he talks about how his daughters all took different routes. He said that one is a chef, one is working in cybersecurity, and then the other one works with him. My thing is, especially the one that works with him, why not, I don't know, engage, refer to that one since she works with you? Like, it just feels like every, all these three people have been hush-hush. My other question is, who who is or are their moms? Like, I don't know. Do they have one mother? Who is their mother? Do they have multiple mothers? Who are their mothers? Like, if anyone knows this information, let me know. It's just something that I want to know because I'm just like, I'm just curious. It doesn't really do anything for us either way, but I'm just curious about that. In relation to the Fletchers, he did also say that they are successful individually and as a unit. Now, I will say I appreciated the fact that he gave them their props about that because they both seem to be successful in their own right. Now, of course, he talks about not wanting to handicap your children, but like you want to do what is best for them. But at some point, you need to just like let them fly and just pull back a little bit and see what they can do. And I completely agree with that mantra. I feel like, yes, you should give your children opportunities and instill in them certain knowledge and values and finances to get to a certain point, right? But then I think at some point, if it's something where they're constantly having to come to you for stuff, then maybe you need to figure out how can you set them up for success. Um, and if you feel like you've done that, how can you set boundaries so that they can then have the opportunity to apply themselves a little bit better? Unless you want to do what some people traditionally do, which is give their children allowance, even as adults. But I personally do not want to be one of those people um i want to be able to bless the opportunities like let's say for example you said to me oh i really want to buy a house i have 50 grand and i'm like okay i'll give you 
whatever you need over that right like i want to see you put in the work because i think like work ethic is really good so it's just like seeing something from you and then me being able to add to it or bless it and um, of course like starting out in life and before they get to that adult point financially taking care of them emotionally and in all other aspects as well um, but I think like I'm one of those people where my personal belief is when they get to a certain point, it's like, OK, what is it that you would like to do with your life? Are you trying to start a business? Then, of course, I'm going to give you the capital to start a business. There are opportunities that you get from being favored enough to be birthed by me. Right. That doesn't then mean that I want you to be reliant on me for day to day stuff. So. On this rare occasion, I do agree with Maurice on that. Now, when it comes to talking about Mattel and Melody, I know that's why you guys came. So let me give you guys what you guys came here for. So Dustin does go on to talk about how Martel and Melody are not filming together and what has been like sort of maurice's experience with that he talks about like the way their dynamics of their relationships have been um as a as the combat group sort of um have helped propel them like to where they are now um and it's opened like a lot of doors for like different couples and a lot of different people which i completely agree with but then this is where it goes left he said that he wants them to get to a place where they don't ha have to film separately and that they have four children together and they just need to get back to a point where they can be cordial and interact with each other now i'm like okay I understand that's your wish and you want that to happen, but that is probably not going to happen. Let's not forget, he has four, they have four children, but all the parties, I'm talking about Martel now, Martel knew he had four children when he was doing all of the things that he was doing. Why did that not stop him? But all of a sudden now, you want her to be in the same space with somebody that has been making her life difficult for the last couple of years? What do you think this is? Like, if he's being honest with himself, if he's asked a question about whether or not he will stay in a space with someone who has done such horrible things to him, I bet he will say no without flinching. But you expect that from Melody. You expect her to suck it up so that you guys can have a good season. That's not going to happen, sir. He was basically saying that he feels like it will take a lot from both sides to get back there. And he thinks it's going to take a lot of forgiveness. Well, he ain't wrong about that. And it's going to take a lot of apologizing, you know, from both sides. First of all, what does Melody have to apologize for? Because in trying to be cordial, you are basically insinuating that Melody's got to apologize what does she have to apologize for which part mr maurice since you know how to break things down why not break it down for us the part that melody needs to ap apologize for let's not forget why we are here what part of revenge p does she need to apologize for what part of him wanted to take the children does she have to apologize for nobody cares about what happens in their marriage that being done and dusted but it's what has happened afterwards what part does she need to apologize for i am waiting one of my biggest pet peeves is when someone says oh you both need to apologize especially when one party has not done anything to the person based on the issue at hand i hate when people do that and i know people do that so that it doesn't feel like they're picking sides but in doing that it's annoying to the innocent party how can she be the one apologizing for someone trying to put our revenge pee against her like you can't be that dumb like seriously you know he might have meant well by saying both sides but no the implication is ludicrous now, what was also interesting was that when he was talking about the destiny situation, the way he was making it seem was almost like he understands from Moses's part, but he seems to almost be like calling Sonny out 
and sort of saying like, you know, Destin cared for her as a friend and, you know, things like it was very difficult and rubbing it in her face by trying to move to Huntsville is rubbing salt in the wound and all of that. I think for me, I'm like, okay, if you feel like Sonny did Destiny wrong, so did Moses. So let's not try to make it seem like Moses, yeah, Moses is your guy and you understand where he was coming from, but you don't understand where Sonny's coming from. It's basically saying like, yeah, they've done, um, he's heard both sides of the story and he understands from Moses's perspective, but not Sonny's perspective. I'm like, I don't really understand that. If anything, Moses was the one in a relationship with destiny and should not have been interacting with somebody that is destiny's friend if they were truly friends right like both of them are wrong if you think about it in that way you can't then say you see moses's side of the view but you don't see sonny's like that is mad and i wonder if this is just an element of him having some sort of sexist thing going on I don't know, but that's what it's just coming across as, in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and tap that bell button right next to it so you know every single time that I post. Don't forget to like, share, and I let me know what you guys think in the comment section, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye.